The rising cost of rent means that many East Texans can no longer afford their homes and apartments. Nonprofits that offer rent and housing assistance are overwhelmed because so many people need their help. Our Ashley Friend shows us how they're trying to keep families in their homes instead of letting them end up on the streets. Good afternoon, this is Beth. We get about 500 phone calls a month for folks who need some help with their rent. It's really shocking the number of phone calls that we get as an organization. The organization known as PATH is a nonprofit that receives about thirteen dollars to $14,000 in federal funds and rental assistance. They're also limited as to how many people it can help. About 15 to 20 families is what the expense is that we're able to meet on a monthly basis. And we do have to say no a lot, and it's definitely a hard thing. Andrew Wilson, the executive director of PATH, says the cost in rent has also risen significantly within the past year due to high demand and inflation. In years past, it's been seven or $800 that they may have needed help with for one month's rent. And we're now, now we're seeing it much greater than that, eleven, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300 a month. Mary Jills, one of the volunteers at PATH, knows firsthand what it's like to fall on hard times. And I've been homeless with four children to raise. I've been without food. I've been unable to pay my light bills and stuff. I've lost a job before. So if you've been where people are, it'll make you really show compassion on them. Compassion that stretches beyond these four walls. The Gateway of Hope is also helping folks to find temporary housing if they don't qualify for rental assistance. Yeah, we've definitely seen more individuals come in and they're not able to afford to, to live in uh, regular housing. And so they're forced out of that into the homeless shelters, into the streets, and they've fallen on hard times. We're going to do everything we can to find housing for them, um, some sort of emergency shelter. We will find something. In Tyler, I'm Ashley French for CBS 19.